Welcome to the channel everyone. In today's video I'm going to make a delicious roast pork and today I'm using a pork shoulder and I'll take you through the process. If it is the first time you're watching this channel, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe to get more information and videos like this. So stay tuned for this video tutorial. So to, to marinate um, and season the, this pork shoulder, in here I have some dry thyme, bit of ginger, all purpose, uh, paprika, bit of salt, and then I'm going to add a little bit more salt to it. But I'll take it through the process. And here I'm going to use a bit of rosemary, spring onion, onion, bit of chili, two cloves of garlic, and a piece of ginger. So what I'm going to do, you can either chop these up or you can blend them. To make it easier, I will, I will just blend them because it goes fast also. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to break this off. Just like this. Put that straight in. So to help the blending process, I'm just going to add a bit of oil to it. You're going to need it anyway. So a bit of oil. I'm just going to add a bit of sea salt and some cracked peppercorn. So I'm just going to pop the lid on. Good to go. So get yourself a bowl. So what I'm gonna do, pour this in here. So the marinade is ready. Just gonna set it aside. So now here, I have a piece of pork shoulder so I'm gonna change the knife so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna core it a bit see these don't remove these because you're gonna need it to help flavor of the meat So what I'm doing now, I'm just coring the meat. So this helps the flavor and the marinade to go through. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna use my dry rub. Go over it, just put them on. So 
So just get the seasoning, most of it, all over in the crevice. Because it's a large joint of meat you know I'm gonna add some sea salt you need this because as soon as the heat catches it it's all gonna melt then I'm gonna take my marinade pour them all over So and again, you're just gonna put some coarse sea salt. Don't think this is too much, cause it's a large joint of meat. So by the time the salt is gonna melt, a bit more peppercorn. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna cover this and let it sit for a couple, probably about five minutes. And I'm gonna take this to the catering truck and I will roast it inside the oven there. So stay tuned. I'm just gonna get a clean clean. So there you go. So now now I'm in the van. I'm on on my spot. The pitch where I normally go, so I'm just gonna quickly remove the, the plastic off this. Yeah. And that's that's what it looked like. So I'm just gonna go straight ahead and put it in the oven. So as you can see, it's not quite done yet. Need a bit more time. So I'm just gonna use a probe. Tell me it's about 58 now, so I need to give it another 50 minutes in the oven. So this is what I'm doing now. Each time you take it out, you take it out, you just baste it. Just baste over it with the jew. Just to keep the top a bit moist because the reason why you already get the colour on it, so just baste it like this. Look how lovely this is. Can't wait to get a slice. Ladies and gentlemen, if this video of any help to you, please give, give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, leave positive comments as usual. Look at that. So now I'm gonna put it back in the oven. So now this is well relaxed, just take this piece off. So I'm just gonna get my carving knife. Look at this.
Here we just have some roast vegetable going with this. Carrot, parsnip, just lay them around. 